it's MK and I am joining the Mixed Media Frenzy Friday gals um, and I am going to be lifting this gorgeous layout by Missy Whidden. Uh, and sometimes I know the name of the person that does the layout and sometimes I don't so I apologize about that but I picked out some inks to do a few faux stitching. She actually uses real stitching on her layout and I decided I'm going to use these tiny Tim Holtz um, stitches. I also pulled out my notebook punch and then some Vicki Booten and Paper House washi. Those were like my only two purple washies. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I also picked out some stencils because I noticed that some stencils were used, but I'm not sure if it's going to work with the way that I'm going to apply my, um, like, watercolor look. So I also have some Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass, Stormy Sky, uh, Faded Jeans, I think is what it is, and then um, some, oh, something violet. I don't know. Oh, shaded lilac. I'm sorry. And then dusty concord. I'm not really good with my purples just yet as far as um, the colors go, but I picked my colors based off of this ombre paper by Coco Vanilla, and it's the Bohemian Dreams collection that I will be playing with today. So I have a few pieces on this wax sheet that I'm not sure if I'm going to use, but I pulled them out anyways. Some thickers by the Flutter collection or something. I don't know how to say that. Um, I'm going to use this word flutter, and then there's a couple purple embellishments that I'm going to try to use up on the page. Um, again, it's all from Bohemian Dreams, so the Coco Vanilla um, collection. So I have enamel dots, some scrap papers, cut apart sheets, cardstock stickers. Um, yeah, I'm still showing you guys like it's brand new and from a different company, but it's not. Again, another cut apart sheet that I plan on using. Um, and then some actual die cuts from the exact same collection. I just pulled out um, random things in the same color tone or palette or however you guys want to say it. Um, also picked out the chipboard, chipboard stickers. Yes, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> I wasn't even reading you guys. Um, and then this um, piece of paper here by Bohemian Dreams. I plan on using it to back my photos because Missy likes to use a lot of layers um, behind her photos, but there sometimes it's not just a full layer. She just has a tucking piece. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Um, I also plan on trying to use a few of the hearts down at the bottom. And so I, I just don't know. This is kind of outside of my norm, um, to be honest. So I cut that cut apart sheet in half and distressed only three sides because again, I'm gonna do the whole tucking and dilio and then this one here I'm going to rip one side and then I wanted it to be on the top and the bottom of my layout so I was trying to figure out how I could do that with only minimal ripping and then I realized oh I'll rip the top and the bottom and then cut it in half easy peasy simple little thing I could do now I'm trying to figure out I've already trimmed down my photos um to roughly four by four and a quarter give or take a few little things I'm not sure um so I went ahead and I cut this blue piece I apologize for my dog my children just got home for school and he is in here with me and now he wants out there with them so I apologize about that but I trimmed this down I think it's about four by seven I'm not really sure because I'm overlapping the photos and I thought about cutting one of the photos down to three by four but I didn't want it to be oh so small that it just didn't have that same effect um, if that makes any sense. So here I go with the tucking. I'm going to have this striped piece going um, kind of at a wonky angle on both ends. And then this floral piece barely tucked under. I don't want all that color, but I want some of it. Now, where I picked out my color palette is from, the, um, is from my t-shirt. Sorry about that. I had to let him out. So yes, I picked out my color scheme from the shirt that I was wearing in the photo, um, and it instantly made me think of this um, purpley collection by Coco Vanilla. Now here is where I punch out um, some of the, or the border punch, just like um, Missy has in hers. She used a border punch and then put a really dark blue on the bottom. I did that, but then I did not go back up to my white 
and cut off the 12 inches. I still need to do that. Um, in fact, when you guys look at the close-ups, um, not the close-ups, but the photo at the end, um, I forget to do that. And so this part of the layout actually, it, it hides the whole time um, in the video. And I apologize about that. So what I'm doing is I didn't like the bottom of the hearts sticking through the notebook punch. So I quickly cut off about a quarter of an inch of the blue paper and I put it behind the portion of the notebook punch um, just like level with the punched image and then I lined up a row of hearts and that is the bottom of my page. Now eventually I will go and cut it down to um, <laughs> cut it down to 12 inches I promise because it will stick out of my of my page protector like a sore thumb. So eventually it'll get done. Now I'm going to work on the mixed media part. Now I'm pretty sure that um, I, I did this all in reverse because I, I had a direction to go where I'm pretty sure Missy actually did all of her mixed media first and then decided how she was going to decorate the page. So I kind of cheated and did everything first. And then I thought, well, now I know how wide to make all my bands for my mixed media by doing my photo map first. Um, I didn't wanna have to guess or make it too big or anything like that and then have a gap to fill when I picked out so little of embellishments to play with. Actually, I picked out quite a lot, um, but I'm keeping this at a purpley, bluey-ish um, kind of layout. And so I don't, there's not a whole lot in that collection because I, every time I think of purple, I go to this collection. And so I have pretty much wiped it all out, um, in a sense. So I had to go and get, um, a jar of water. I wasn't, I had no clue you guys. Um, there for a second, I totally forgot how to watercolor with inks. I, I serious, I, it was a brain fart for a moment because I was like, wait a minute, this is not what I, I don't ever use a jar. What am I doing? What? I, I don't understand. I thought that I just sprayed it and then went, but then I have no way to clean off my water brush. And then I figured it out. I don't need my spray bottle. I have the jar of water. I dip it in each color and then go from there. Um, I thought I was going to wipe up every color because, you know, my in my brain, I thought it was going to be perfect every single time. But that tumbled glass was just really uber too light for me. In fact, I, I kept adding and kept adding and kept adding. Now, I never did tell you guys what this piece of cardstock really is. And honestly, it's just a Vicki Booten um, water foundation piece. What What is that called? Mixed media foundation piece. Um, I didn't add any gesso because I'm super uber lazy like that. I don't like to wait for things to dry. Um, and I certainly hate using this heat tool um, because I'm impatient. I, I want it like done now. So then I was also again lazy and did not go and get a smaller paintbrush to make my splatters. So <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the splatters um, and then on this darker, the one in the center, the faded jeans, um, I tapped really, really hard on my paintbrush and it went everywhere and I was like, oh, I can't do that. Nope, I I'll keep going with what I'm doing, which is basically um, dipping my brush in the water and having that tip, putting it in the ink, picking the ink up with the water and then just dabbing it in random spots all over my page. I, I just, I was done <laughs> because I was being lazy. And that, um, you know, in, in a sense, uh, I could have done a better job with the splatters if it really bothered me. But I do like the end result. Uh, again, that tumbled glass was kind of still a little on the uh, side. I wanted it a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, um, if that's even a thing. And then I almost forgot the stencil portion. So in the layout, um, in the sample layout, in Missy's layout, uh, it looks like she used some sort of tone on tone stenciling. So I assumed it was, um, you know, pick up from the, um, you know, using a baby wipe, here's my stencil, blah, blah, blah. And then if I rubbed it, you know, I picked up the color. Now, if I rub on a spot that doesn't have color, maybe that color will come off and it didn't work. So yeah, I tried it, but it didn't work. And then most of it ends up getting covered up anyways. I, I didn't do enough um, for it to even matter because I was like, oh, you can't even tell. I'm not going to wipe up all this color. There's no way. So I went ahead and I left it um, just the way it is. In fact, the second stencil, you can't even see it. So I was good. I just went with what I wanted. And I have to tell you guys, these puffy thickers for thickers, were sticky. And I mean like, whoa, write it in the calendar. 
oh my gosh, I had to get out my goober eraser and erase the film of stickiness that that butterfly left on my layout because it, I, I forgot the second portion of my title. So it says favorite moments. Um, it is. It's favorite moments when I get to take selfies and go do things with my husband. I absolutely love it. It's our favorite thing to do is just be out and about and away from the house and just enjoying each other's company um, or, or uh, everybody's company because it's not just me and him. Um, it's me, him, the kids all the time, 24 seven. So it, we, we don't even go out for date night, you guys, <laughs> just to let you know, we just don't do it. Um, so again, the white border on these die cuts are way too thick for me. So I am going to be cutting them off. I already cut the one off for the blue butterfly and here I go cutting them off for the feathers. Why the feathers? I have no idea none whatsoever because they were the colors I needed. That's the only reason. Um, I'm not normally a throw it on the page because I need that color type of person. Um, but this one it did and I kind of envisioned them to just hang down. Um, I really wanted to do like string and twine. But again, I'm lazy and I didn't want to get up and go get it. Yeah, that's the point I was at when I was making this layout is like, well, that would be really cute if I could wrap that twine around these little feathers and then wrap it like around one of the layers of paper. Oh, that'd be super cute. But the twine is like three feet that way. I don't want to go get it. Nope not going to happen. So, <laughs> so instead it gets tucked underneath and I still think it looks pretty cute. Um, just finalizing, I did kind of do a tone on tone, you know, put everything, um, you know, all the blues here, all the dark purpley bits over there, and then the light purple off on the right. I tried to, but you know, none of my, none of my elements really were that color but I was okay with that. I, I still like how it all looks, even though I was kind of like, mm, I feel like it's missing something. And really what it was missing was the fact that I didn't have enough of all the colors to go around. Uh, so I went and I added, uh, Missy's has butterflies and buttons, <laughs> which is just so cute to say. Um, she honestly, that's what she had on hers. And I was like, well, I don't have any buttons, at least not in this collection that I picked out. And again, I don't want to get off my seat. Um, so I, I did look at the chipboard one more time and it had uh, some, some hearts and I thought, you know what, I'm already doing a heart thing. So why not do a little bit more of a heart thing? So I decided to use three rows of these enamel dots. I don't use all of them, but pretty much I do. Um, I use a majority of them, but the darker purpley blue ones were perfect for the faded jeans. And then there was the, um, turquoise or I don't know aqua ones for the left side and the light purple for the right side and I was like that's perfect and then I had this round little sticker that was purple that I was gonna use before and I thought no I don't need it she doesn't have anything up there um but it's purple so I'm gonna use it and there was other color other color la, 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 la. <laughs> there were other purple items on the sticker sheet as well as but I didn't want it to be too wordy um, as well as the chipboard sheet. And I just, they were all words. They all had words on them. And I was just being lazy. I really did not want to figure out how to cover up the words and make it look cute and make it look like it was intentional. I just really like how this turned out. Again, it's not my style at all. But double checking with Missy's to see if I covered all the things that she did on her layout. And I realized that she splattered in gold. Well, gold, I don't think would have looked good or matched my layout. So I opted to go with silver. And when it dries, it's kind of a gray rather than it is a silver. But I like the adding uh, the added effect. Now, I do have to tell you guys off camera, I did go and actually splatter it with white white, but I think that that was after the photos. So I'm not really sure if you guys get to see that one or not. Um, but I do like, I, I mean, I went nuts with the white splatter and I love how it looks in the title area, especially. Um, I just felt like it brings it all together. There's the bottom of the layout that I left cut out of the entire recording. Go me. I have just been a recording nightmare all week long. Maybe I'll get it right next week. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be my new thing of to see how she messes up next week. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, have a blast anyways. Um, be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with Mixed Media Frenzy Friday. Um, 
their links are all down below to their channels rather than the individual links because sometimes people can play along and sometimes um, they can't and such is life right uh, I enjoy all the inspiration that I can get when I can get it um, without complaints so that works for me I absolutely love love working with these gals and seeing their creations because then I go dang why didn't I think of that <laughs> <laughs> so I love having all the different um, mixed media options out there based off of one layout and how we all envision seeing it. So be sure, be sure blah, to check out those gals. Um, again, their links are down below and I will see you guys all later. Bye.